that's still preparing. All right, I think it's live. Let's go, let's check. If you can hear me and you can see me, I'm gonna need y'all to let me know in the comments and put your city, cause you know I'm gonna shout you out. Put your city, cause you know I'm gonna shout you out. All right, let me see. Can you see me? All right, all right, all right, all right. It's Bible trivia time, okay? Two minutes and some seconds, and then we're going to start. But if you can hear me, if you can see me, let me know in the comments. Put your city. You know I'm going to shout your city out. All right, all right, all right. Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans. Shout out. Salute to the veterans, okay? It's about to go down. Bible trivia. All right. Hey, Texas in the building. Yo, Oklahoma City in the building, okay? All right, y'all. Y'all ready, y'all ready, y'all ready, y'all ready? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What's good, Michigan? Cape Town in the house. Ew. All right. Shout out to Andrew, South Carolina. New York City is in the building. Ew. Y'all know I got to look down at the comments to, to see them. Shout out to Shot Town, Stockbridge, Georgia in the house. Ew. Alberta is in the house. What's going on? Penascola in the house. What is going on, y'all? Y'all working today? Y'all off today? What's going on? Kansas City, Missouri is in the building. Riverdale, Georgia. I was just in Riverdale uh, Friday, I think it was. Shout out to Riverdale, Georgia. Knoxville, Tennessee. What's going on, Tennessee? Canada is in the building. Shout out to all the top fans, all the supporters. Y'all working today? Y'all off today? What's going on? What's going on today, y'all? Let me know. Ireland is in the building. I need a word reaches Ireland. Good God. South Carolina is in the building. Oklahoma is in the building, okay? On my clock, it has about a minute and five seconds until we start, okay? 12 rounds. Y'all know the drill. You, if you know the answer, you just comment. You could put the number or you could put the whole thing. It's up to you. Whatever you decide, glad you got your energy back. Yes, ew. Man, I don't know. Them allergies was bottom, bothering me for the, like the last two weeks, but we're here. I'm here. I'm back. I'm ready. Pittsburgh, not Pittsburgh. Let me, Lori, I'm about to say Pittsburgh in the house. Pennsylvania in the house. Mississippi in the house. Louisiana in the house. Texas. All my exes live in Texas. Okay. Shout out to everybody that's retired. Okay. That's goals. Okay. New York City is in the building. Columbia, South Carolina in the building. Tennessee in the building. Kentucky in the building. All right. 20 seconds, y'all. 20 seconds. Durham, North Carolina in the building. You know, I'm from Raleigh. Yo, Vermont in the building. All right, I'm about to put this phone down. I'm going to read y'all the question. Y'all just answer it, okay? I think it's a little delay, but that's okay. That's okay. We, we'll get it. Snow. Oh, God, where you live at? Talking about snow. I don't want to see no snow. Hey, Bishop. Shout out to Bishop in South Carolina. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What was the name of the angel who told Mary she would give birth to Jesus? Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, or the archangel? What was the name of the angel who told Mary she would give birth to Jesus? Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, or the archangel? That one might be a little easy on y'all. I'm, I'm a little, I'm gonna be a little easy today, okay? Because it's a holiday. All right, but tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern, y'all meet me here. It's going down. I'm going, I'm going, I'm gonna get y'all. I'm gonna I'm coming through swinging tomorrow night, right? Y'all better, y'all better study your word, okay? Pray for me, please. Absolutely. Julio is in the building. Shout out to Philly in the building. Baltimore is in the building. Okay. Kansas City in the building. All right. Let's see who got this right. What was the name of the angel who told Mary she would give birth to Jesus? Was it Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, or an archangel? Okay. 32 seconds to the next round. 32 seconds to the next round. Let's see who got that right. Okay. A good majority said Gabriel. The correct answer was Gabriel. So shout out to everybody who got that right. If you didn't get it right, that's okay. That's what we're here for. Now you know who was the angel that told Mary she would give birth to Jesus. Okay. So take everything you learned. Take some notes. You know, you got, we're going to learn this word. We're going to learn this word. 13 seconds to the next round. Shout out to all my supporters and my top fans. Okay. Thank y'all. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for being here today. Shout out to everybody that's off work today. And if you're at work today, uh, tell your boss you need to go on a break because we're doing Bible trivia. According to the Old Testament, on what day did God create man? The first day, the seventh day, the sixth day, or the third day? According to the Old Testament, on what day did God create men? First, seventh, sixth, or third? That one's a little easy too. I told y'all I'm easy today. I'm easy today. Tomorrow night, Tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern, it is going down. 
Okay. Y'all make sure y'all join me Mondays and Tuesdays, Mondays, 1 p.m. Eastern, Tuesdays, 9 p.m. Eastern. We're going to do Bible trivia. Okay. Everybody that's requesting prayer. I'm definitely praying for y'all. God bless y'all. May the Lord keep y'all. It's, it's going to be all right. Y'all we in the 11th month on the 11th day. It's the 11th hour. And God still, God is going to come through y'all. Y'all got to believe God is going to come through 39 seconds to the next round. 39 Houston, Texas in the building. Y'all know what I see Texas. I, I get hyped because I say all my exes live in Texas and y'all know I ain't got one ex in Texas, but I still like to say it. Okay. All right. So the answer was the sixth day. We got 51 plus people that got that right. Okay. Nobody said the first one person said the seventh. That's okay. It was the sixth day that God created man. That's the beginning. That's Genesis y'all got to go back and read that book read the whole book and get you a version that you understand 10 seconds to the next round 10 seconds to the next round shout out to everybody that got that right i'm gonna look in the comments real quick and then i'm gonna look back at the screen okay it's a little delayed but that's okay how many books does the old testament have 33 39 27 or 18 how many books does the old testament have 33 39, 27, or 18. 27 seconds until we find out what answer you put. All right, let me see who else is in the building. Let me see, let me see. If the comments are a little coming in a little slow, that's okay. Come on, one day Facebook gonna get it together, okay? Have you ever listened to George Strait song? No, who's George Strait? I don't know where I got that from, but I picked it up from somewhere. <laughs> I don't know George Strait, but I picked that up from somewhere. Okay, two seconds until we find out the answers. How many books did the Old Testament have? 33, 39, 27, or 18? Mississippi is in the building. Mississippi is in the building. Okay, 35 seconds to the next round. Georgia is in the building. Georgia is in the building. Shout out to everybody in Atlanta. That's where I'm at. Atlanta, Georgia in the building. All right. So 39 was the answer. 62 plus people got that right. OK. All right. All right. We, we doing good. We doing good, y'all. We doing good. All right. We got about nine more rounds and then we done. All right. So let's 10 seconds to the next round. Let me see who's in the building. Love this. I'm learning. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All right. Six seconds to the next round, y'all. Six seconds to the next round. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. After his resurrection, to whom did Jesus appear first? Was it Peter, Thomas, Mary Magdalene, or a guard? After his resurrection, to whom did Jesus appear first? Peter, Thomas, Mary Magdalene, or a guard? Mary Magdalene, a guard, Peter, or Thomas? This might be a little easy, too. Mississippi is in the building. Hey, South Africa. What time is it in South Africa? Uh, God bless y'all. Mississippi in the building. Florida in the building. God bless y'all. Las Vegas is in the building. Ew. He's a country singer. He sings All My Exes Live in Texas. Okay. Well, maybe somebody took that from his song and I heard it. I don't know where I got that from. Columbia is in the building. What's going on? Cali is in the building. What is going on? 40 seconds to the next round. Gainesville, Florida is in the building. What is going on? What is going on? Let's see who got this right. Let's see who got this right. After his resurrection, to whom did Jesus appear first? Peter, Thomas, Mary Magdalene, or a guard? The answer was Mary Magdalene, and it looks like a bunch of people got that right. So good. Shout out to everybody that got that right. If you didn't get it right, now you know the answer. 17 seconds to the next round. 17 seconds to the next round. We're going to round number five. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for playing today. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for tolerating my silliness. God bless y'all. Five seconds to the next round. Five seconds to the next round. Okay, the comments are delayed. Still saying Mary that's all right. Facebook going to get it together one of these days. From which part of Adam's body did God create Eve? Was it his hand, his heart, his rib, or his womb? From which part of Adam's body did God create Eve? His hand, his heart, his rib, his womb. 25 seconds until we find out the answers. Brooklyn in the house. Ew. Shout out to Brooklyn. Shout out to New York City. Okay. I know it's probably cold up there too. I miss, I miss up north. A little bit. I'm originally from Connecticut, but New York is like home. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for watching. If you're at work, tell your boss you're going on a lunch break, okay? So you can play this quick game, okay? Or tell your boss to play too, okay? Give your boss the word, okay? God bless y'all. All right, let's find out the answers. Let's find out the answers. From which body part, or not body part, from which part of Adam's body did God create Eve? Was it his hand, his heart, his rib, or his womb? 
Let's see who got this right. 27 seconds to the next round. There's 12 rounds all together, and then we'll be done. 12 rounds all together, and then we'll be done. His hand, his heart, his rib, or his womb? The answer was his rib, and the majority of people got that right. Okay, nobody said womb. The majority of people said his rib. Okay, so y'all doing good. 10 seconds to the next round. 10 seconds to the next round. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, let me put this phone down so I can read these questions. Next question. What miracle did Jesus perform at the marriage at Cana? He turned wine into water. He opened blinded eyes. He healed the woman with the issue of blood, or he healed a mute man. What miracle did Jesus perform at the marriage at Cana? Turned water into wine, opened blinded eyes, healed the woman with the issue of blood, or healed a mute man? All right, 19 seconds till we find out the answers. That's okay if you're not good at this. That, this is all, this is a learning experience, okay? We learning together. Don't worry about, if you got them wrong, that's okay. That's okay. And now you know the answers. That's okay. That's okay. North Carolina is in the building. United Arab Emirates is in the building. Rib, rib, rib. That's cute. All right, we're praying for your dad that's in ICU. All my prayer warriors and my intercessors, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's pray. Let's pray. We thank you, Jude. We thank you, Jesus, that your father is going to get the victory. Hallelujah. Shout out to, let's see, let's see, let's see, where, who else I saw? Who else I saw? Oh, wait, the answers are coming in. The answers are coming in. Turn water into wine. Okay, a lot of people saying turn water into wine. Okay, okay, let's see. All right. Turn water into wine. That was the answer. About 128 plus people got that right. Nobody said healing of a mute man. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. 10 seconds to the next round. 10 seconds to the next round. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to click out and click back in because the comments are really delayed. Comments are really delayed. All right. Next question. Next question. Next question is the walls of which city fell down after the priests blew their trumpets? Jerusalem, Jericho, Cana or Shiloh? The walls of which city fell down after the priests blew their trumpets? Jerusalem, Jericho, Cana, not Can yeah, Canaan or Shiloh. I'm about to say Cana. Canaan. Yes. All right. 19 seconds. till we find out the answers. 19 seconds. till we find out the answers. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for playing. Thank y'all for playing. We got five more rounds and then we're done. Five more rounds and then we are done. Six seconds until we find out your answers. The walls of which city fell down after the priests blew their trumpets? Jerusalem, Jericho, Canaan, or Shiloh? This one might be an easy one too. This one might be easy. Might be a little easy. That's all right. Tomorrow night, I'm going to make it a little hard for y'all, okay? If you come on tomorrow nights. You better skim through your Bible, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm just kidding. And the walls came tumbling down. All right, so that, that means you know the answer, okay? <laughs> yes, we thank God for his healing power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All right, so the majority said Jericho. The answer was Jericho. One person said Shiloh. A couple people said Canaan. That's okay. Now we know the walls of which city fell down after the priest blew their trumpets was Jericho. Ten seconds to the next round. Ten seconds to the next round. Yes, Lord, hear the prayers of your people. Hallelujah. Absolutely. All right. One second. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. According to the book of Exodus, what is kept in the Ark of the Covenant? An ancient Bible, the stone tablets of the Ten Commandments, doves, or the book of Enoch? According to the book of Exodus, what is kept in the Ark of the Covenant? An ancient Bible, the stone tablets of the Ten Commandments, doves, or the book of Enoch? 18 seconds till we find out the answers. 18 seconds. It's still delayed. Everybody, I see Jericho, 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 Jericho. That's all right. That's all right. Love your sense of humor, woman of God. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. Arkansas is in the building. Hey, Arkansas. Hey, Arkansas. According to the book of Exodus, what is kept in the Ark of the Covenant? Let me, y'all want me to rule some out? Okay, let's rule out. It's not doves, okay? If those doves was in there, they might be dead now, okay? And it's not the book of Enoch. So it's either an ancient Bible or the stone tablets of the Ten Commandments. We will find out in a few seconds. We will find out in a few seconds. It's 20 seconds to the next round. All right, the answer was stone tablets of the Ten Commandments. Majority of people got that right. That is great. That was great. That was great. All right. 13 seconds to the next round. I'm going to come down and look at the comments real quick to see if I'm anybody want me to shout them out, see if I missed something. All right. And then we're going to get back to the game. 
We have four more rounds and then we're done. Four more rounds. Let me exit out. Who was Jezebel's husband? Was it David, Saul, Ahab, or Josiah? Who was Jezebel's husband? David, Saul, Ahab, or Josiah? Let's see. Who was Jezebel's husband? Y'all love talking about Jezzy. Who was her husband? Was it David, Saul, Ahab, or Josiah? Ahab. All right, I see, I see the delay. Now it's just popping up the question. 13 seconds into the next round. 13 seconds to the next round. No, not 13 seconds to the next round, y'all. Excuse me. <laughs> 13 seconds till we find out the answers. 13 seconds till we find out the answers. Who was Jezebel's husband? Was it David, Saul, Ahab, or Josiah? 42 seconds to the next round. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Hey, I'm late. Hey, Kelly, Michelle Kelly, how are you? Thank you for joining. Hey, Ghana and West Africa, praying for healing. Yes, God is a healer, y'all. Whoever you call him to be, is that that's who he'll be to you, okay? Call him your healer. He's going to be the healer. Who was Jezebel's husband? David, Saul, Ahab, or Josiah? 19 seconds to the next round. The answer was Ahab, and a good majority of y'all got that right. So shout out to everybody that got Ahab correct. And if you didn't, that's okay. Now you know who her husband was. All right. Nine seconds to the next round. Hey, from Florida. Shout out to Florida. Florida is in the building. Okay. Two seconds into the next, next round. Okay. Tenth round. What was the first bird that Noah let go from the ark? Was it a mockingbird, a robin? a raven or an owl? What was the first bird that Noah let go from the ark? Mockingbird, robin, raven, or owl? 22 seconds until we find out the answers. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for joining. I'm good. Thank you for asking. God bless y'all. All my exes live in Texas. Texas is in the building. Chicago is in the building. Okay. My sanctifier. Yes. Hallelujah. Ghana is in the building. What is going on in Ghana? What time is it in Ghana? What time is it? What was the first bird that let no that Noah let go from the ark? Mockingbird, robin, raven, or owl? Thirty-nine seconds into the next round. Thirty-nine seconds into the next round. Georgia is in the building. Praying for traveling mercy for you and your son. Absolutely, hallelujah, hallelujah. A lot of people are saying raven. Okay, we're about to find out. Was it a raven? Was it a mockingbird? Was it a robin? Or was it an owl? What was the first bird that Noah let go from the ark? It was a raven. Good majority of y'all got that right. 237 plus people got that right. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Six seconds into the next round. Six seconds into the next round. Put this phone down. I'm going to read the question. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Name Moses' brother. Was his brother named Joshua, Caleb, Aaron, or Jacob? Name Moses' brother. Joshua, Caleb, Aaron, or Jacob? 27 seconds until we find out the answers. And we got one more round and we are done. Shout out to Fort Worth, Texas. Zambia is in the building. South Africa is in the building. What time is it in Africa? What time is it? In South Africa, Nigeria, Zambia, wherever you're from in Africa, what time is it? Philly is in the building. Philly, Philly. Florida is in the building. Nambia is in the building, y'all. That's why I wanted to come on early in the day because I felt like it would be easier for the overseas people. And then tomorrow night will be my night, people, my for my U.S. family. Name Moses' brother, Joshua, Caleb, Aaron, or Jacob. Who was Moses' brother? Was it Joshua, Caleb, Aaron, or Jacob? I see a lot of people saying Aaron. Rochester, New, Jer New York is in the building. Not Rochester. I used to be out there sometimes. Uh, New Rock City, I think it was called. Granada is in the building. Okay, 17 seconds into the next round. The answer was Aaron. A lot of y'all got that right too. Good, good. One more question and we are done for today. Thank y'all for playing. We're going to find out the winners. Thank y'all for joining and I will be back tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern for another round of Bible trivia. Shout out. Thank you to everybody sending me blessings. What was the age of Moses at his time at the time of his demise? Was he 88? Was he 120? Was he 100 or was he 90? What was the age of Moses at the time of his demise? 88, 120, 100 or 90? 25 seconds until we find out the answers. OK, so it's, it's, it's late in South Africa. 
Just late. Y'all up. Y'all up late. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all. I'm so glad that I need a word goes to Africa. Okay. God loves Africa. Moses wasn't going without bro Aaron. Okay. <laughs> God bless y'all. Alabama is in the building. What was the age of Moses at the time of his demise? 88, 120, 100, or 90? 37 seconds until we find out who won. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for watching. God bless y'all. I see a lot of people saying 120. God bless y'all. 120. 120. That might be the right answer. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for watching. I'm trying to read the comments. They go by so fast and then it's delayed. All right. The correct answer was 120. So it looks like a good majority of y'all got that right. So y'all know y'all Bible. Okay. Y'all know the word. Okay. And if you don't know, this is, this is good because this is going to send you back to the Bible. Okay. All right. Let's see who won. Let's see who won. All right, the first number one winner was Fo Namako. Oh, forgive me if I said that right. Number two was Vero, and number three was Darlene. So, if you won, I would like to gift you with something. You can email me info at I need a word org. So, shout out to Fo Vero and Darlene, the top three winners. You can email me info at I need a word org, and I would like to gift you with a prize. And again, y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in, for watching. I will be back tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, well, there's no particular book. It's going to be random tomorrow. Next week is going to be Revelations. Tomorrow is going to be random. So thank y'all for watching. I will see y'all soon. God bless y'all. Love y'all.